The alert fatigue factor um, is enormous these days, and, and the reason behind that is simply that people are adding more tools in the equation. As, as organizations have implemented individual security tools to protect all the different threat vectors within their organization, and each of those tools um, is set to deliver alerts uh, that, that, that uh, the amount of alerts that are pouring in um, is a, becomes massive and, and somewhat overwhelming. So while we have more detection going on, which at face value seems like a good thing, sure we want to know when things seem, uh, seem suspicious or malicious along the way, as we do that it adds more complexity to the equation because somehow we have to figure out how to stitch all this data together. And that's not an easy task and that for any security analyst that means I spend a good part of my day trying to stitch that data together, which means I'm not spending that same time actually responding uh, to, those, um, to those issues that, uh, that I'm trying to correlate. It has more confusion uh, because there's a lot of overlap and duplication of issues that come across uh, the different threat vectors. And then you know, sort of ultimately we're building a bunch of silos of individual data um, across the organization. So, so while it felt like a good thing to invest more, and I said starting out that, you know, so why after two years we continue to invest more, are things getting harder? Sometimes when we invest we, or an over-invest in too many tools that don't work well together, we end up creating more complexity and confusion and then actually ultimately more work for ourselves um, than we would want to.